we have um, quite simple licensing. We have uh, basically you need to just specify the number of devices that you wish to control with Sophos Mobile Control and the number of years that you want to take the license out for. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you configure the, uh, your infrastructure to run on two or more Sophos Mobile Control servers. The number of service, uh, servers doesn't affect licensing at all. Uh, it's purely based on the number of devices that you're managing. So we also, it's quite simple to um, license on a pro rata basis. So if you, for example, want to, uh, if you have more devices come on board and you exceed your, your license and you need, for example, another 20 uh, licenses and you've got six months to go on your original, you simply um, can get a license for the additional devices for the remaining six months. So at the end of your original license date, the uh, device, the, the, the license will be renewed um, at the same time, at the same anniversary. So one of the things that I forgot to mention as well is um, with the uh, endpoint software, we actually have a special arrangement at the moment whereby um, with the new endpoint software, we'll have a uh, patch management capabilities and also web protection capabilities, which will cost a small premium on top of the standard arrangement. So for the month of September only, if you um, purchase the Sophos in, uh, endpoint software with us, you'll actually get the um, patch management and uh, web protection thrown in for free. But that's just on a slight sideline. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the Sophos mobile control product. Um, if anyone has any questions, then I'd be happy to take them, or John, John might be able to help me with those questions as well. So I guess if you have any questions, just um, unmute your phone. I think it's probably the best way about going about it. And uh, hopefully we won't get seven people all at once unmute their phone and ask seven questions at once. But feel free to unmute your phone and uh, see if, uh, if I can answer your questions. If you'd like any um, information about um, pricing or a quote from the guys from CSA here, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to provide you with information. Um, so yeah, just let us know your contact details and what you're interested in and we can organise that for you. So has anyone got any questions for us? Silence is the response so far. That's either a good thing or a bad thing. It means they're either all asleep or I, I told you everything you needed to know. <laughs> and you all, yeah, you also have the ability to um, ask some questions via the uh, the instant message. Is that one? Yeah, the instant message um, capabilities there as well. So you can click on that IM button and you can uh, ask some questions. Uh, when is version 2 available? I see uh, Steve from Cost Harbour has asked the question. Version 2, um, as I said, should be available in the next month to two months. Certainly, I'd say within two months from now. Thank you, Gordon, for the comment. <laughs> It is a good product. It is a very good product, which is simple to use. Its real advantage is that you can manage um, Apple devices, Android devices, and Windows devices, Windows mobile devices, all on the one console. So you can basically bring it all together. It's really nice that you can do it entirely remotely so that um, the IT support desk never actually has to lay a finger on a device, which can be very handy as well. And a question from Steve again about is there a minimum number of devices for licensing? Not that I'm aware of. I don't believe there is a minimum number. Um, there's probably a little point in doing it for one, but um, yeah, I'm not aware of a minimum number um, for the licensing. Yeah, thanks, Sharon. Yeah, the the um, the whole. Um, environment at the moment is, is really being driven by a huge um, 
demand for these devices and the device is becoming more and more useful in a corporate environment. So there really is a need for some good um, solutions that enable you to control these devices and manage them. So uh, yeah, we, we're quite happy with the product and confident that it will um, solve your problems. Uh, what else have we got here from Steve? Can, it, can you use it like Dropbox to distribute documents? We don't have that capability at the moment, Steve. We, we've still got a whole bunch of stuff to uh, develop, and uh, I'm sure that's that's on the uh, the list of uh, uh, pro uh, features that we are planning on having in the future. But it's not coming in the next month or two. the The emphasis at the moment really is about control and and managing the devices. Um, and I can see that uh, that capability is definitely uh, going to be required. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, but it won't be in version two. So, we have any other questions? Uh, Steve again. That's good. Thank you, Steve. Yes, it does look like a good product. I agree. <laughs> but again, maybe I'm a little biased. So yeah, if you'd like any further questions, oh, I'm sorry, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact the guys from CSA. Um, if you'd like uh, some licensing, uh, if you have licensing questions or you'd like a quote, for example, um, don't hesitate to contact any of the guys from CSA. And... 